Open the mouth using your right hand as far to the right side of the mouth as possible. Your thumb is on the lower teeth and your middle or index finger is on the upper teeth. This position is similar to snapping your fingers. By pushing rather than spreading you can open the mouth wider and more forcefully. Grasp the handle in your left hand with the blade down and pointing away from you. Insert the blade to the right side of the mouth and tongue. Control of the tongue is key. Placing the blade in the middle of the tongue can cause the tongue to block your view and leave you with no room to pass the tube. As you start to slide the blade and tongue toward the left side of the mouth, slowly advance the blade until you can see the tip of the epiglottis. Lift the lower jaw upward holding your left arm slightly bent and fairly rigid. Be careful. Don't press on the teeth or pinch the lips between the blade and the teeth. The head is now suspended from the laryngoscope in the left hand. Pick up the tube with your right hand. You can also ask your assistant to hand it to you in the correct orientation for insertion. You should keep your eyes on the trachea. Hold the preselected tube in your right hand like a pencil, curve forward. Pass the tube to the right of the blade, into the larynx through the cords. If the patient is breathing, time the thrust for inspiration when the cords are most open. Watch the tube pass through the cords if you can. While there may be a blind spot at the moment of entering the larynx, you can often see the arytenoids behind the tube. Let's watch this clip again. Notice that, as sometimes happens, the tube had to be redirected to line it up with the opening. You need to be gentle as forcefully bumping into the larynx multiple times might cause trauma, bleeding, or swelling. Stop advancing when the cuff is beyond the cords.